Hello everyone and welcome back to Alpha's Plain Stone Block 2. We're back in this exact same place where all the good stuff happens because this is where I put this and this was all temporary and as with anything technological and temporary, it's staying. So I was thinking about the things I said at the end of the last episode and there's so many things that we need to do. Most of which is automation, but the key point of automation that we have not yet dealt with, <coughs> excuse me, is ore processing. And I remembered that I had a bunch of iron ore in my inventory at the just in the middle of the last episode and I just threw it in here and I thought what can we possibly do to deal with that and one of the things we thought of doing was to get it into the tinker's smeltery remember that um and sort of somehow manage to get the correct number in that we always get a block out or have one smeltery per ore type which actually sounds amazing <laughs> excuse me a sec oh, I realized I was thirsty <laughs> needed to drink um that's a really good idea, <laughs> actually. Um, we could probably do that. And I think it would be... I was going to start going down this line of mechanism, which is... It's going to be the next step. Because the thing about mechanism is you get... You can tear up to having five times the amount of ore that you started with. And with this Tinker Smeltery over here, you only get two times. But then I was thinking, oh, hang on a minute. But we can... We've got a lot of lava. We can increase lava production. And we can use something other than lava. And, and, and... Uh, it sounds hard, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> do I want to do that? Kind of. Let's start with... Okay. I need to prepare for that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but for now, let's start with the mechanism things. Because there's, um, the mechanism uh, mod has tiers of of tech so the first tier is well we can do that in fact we got better than the first tier because the first tier of mechanism is just smelting one ore into one ingot and that's not good enough um what we really need is a way of exporting um all of our thingies into something that will then turn them into two and then later into three and then eventually into four and five we can only manage turning it into two right now because the next tier of turning it into three, that requires oxygen. And we don't have a way of making oxygen yet. And I'm not really going to get into doing that because that sounds hard. So I'm not going to. Uh, what we do here is we take uh, an enrichment chamber. I mean, this is already itself going to be a bit of a pest. The enrichment chamber already requires um, things that we don't have access to yet. But this we kind of have access to because the metallurgic infuser um, it is easy to make, which is just this. I nearly managed it, so that's pretty good. Um, why do you... Oh, right. Uh, and enrich chamber. Um, this and then... This? Yes, so we need two furnaces. Easy peasy. You go in there and then got two and then this. Ta-da! We have an enrichment chamber. Uh, a metallurgic infuser. The thing about the metallurgic infuser, however... And I'm going to come all the way down here to do this, even though it's probably not the bestest of ideas. Um, let's have a sort of a mechanism wall here. A metallurgic infuser, which is going to require power, and I didn't think of that, so let's pick it up uh, and put it here for now. Um, it, you, you put stuff in it, and then more stuff in it, and then you turn it into other stuff. So, I'll give you an example. Redstone plus I, uh, osmium, ooh, not even iron, uh, equals a control circuit. But when you put redstone in here, it doesn't just... You don't just add the redstone and thinking. You put redstone in here, this fills up with redstone. It's a very similar affair to what we had up there, making all of those circuits. So let us prepare a little bit for what we're going to have to do, which is get lost and forget which way we're facing, and then get some... Uh, con red... Redstone. Okay. Um... We need more than one, basically. We're going to need one for each type of material that we could possibly use in the metallurgic infuser, which luckily, currently, is just redstone. We're also going to want to get the this. Oh, by the way, I did finish off these. So we should be able to create anything right now that requires circuits, which is grand, because one of the things that we're going to need that requires circuits is some more patterns. Uh, pa pattern. So a blank pattern is this, and we do have 
just make more of this. <laughs> there we go. This and then this and then just make as many as you, as many as you can. Iron. We did get through a lot of iron, to be fair. Although that's a lot of iron for one thingy. Um, so we need to learn to make basic circuit from thingy, and that's this. Except it's not going to be redstone. It's going to be one osmium equals one basic control circuit. And we're going to make sure this gets topped up with uh, redstone in a different manner. I forgot to bring useful stuff. We also need to bring a couple, uh, a couple more cables. We're gonna need some more of these as well. Uh, we should take the smart cable with us because we're gonna want to make sure that we don't run out of uh, channels. And I think we are because if we pull off of this, this is already on one channel, but this is on six. So if we put two more on here, that's going to be on eight, which is too many. That's another thing we need to fix, and it's not going to be for this episode, but it will be very, very soon, I promise. I do like playing with AE because we have to keep considering lots and lots of different things. And I'll see if I can make a cable anchor, actually, um, because those are useful too. Cable, cable, uh, which is nickel and a nether quartz cutting knife. A quartz cutting knife, you say? Do you have any iron? Let's get the iron smelted up. This 10 would produce enough. Um, enough for now. Uh, and it's going to be 20, which is going to be two blocks, which is great. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I, I should do this differently. Sorry. Give me this. Give me this. And doop, and then time in a bottle this, and then again, should have one. Go, two ingots left. Hooray, you can count. That's the ingot. Keep, <laughs> and then one, and then two. And then this will be enough for keeping us going, I think. What are you encoding? Wait, that's 20. See, that's we can do that already. It's a bit manual and we can probably make it work if we had just one one of those for each one of those. But um, <laughs> get it? Uh, and then this. So any of these. I am sure. The cable anchor, by the way, clear that. By the way, hit the microphone. Cable anchor means that what we can do is we can put <laughs> build flat surfaces and no one will complain. But no, you have to go and try and make it all weird and uppy downy and, and strange and odd and really likes it. Where did those It'll be in here because I just dumped everything into why are the diamonds in here? I'll do. Uh, I believe that things have gone into here because they are either at random or closer or something like that. Um, not, that might have a space. This might have a space. I'm really interested in where my slabs have gone. <laughs> where are my slabs? They're in my bloody pocket. All right, fine. Fine, if that's the way you want to play it, if that's the way you want to play it. Don't move the thing you're about to use. There we go. And you think after this many years of playing a game like this, you'd get the hang of knowing what you want to be in your inventory, what you want to be on your hotbar, and what you want to be in a chest somewhere where no one can see it. Okay, good. Um, and then we'll do like this. Doop, 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 doop. If you put a cable anchor on a cable, then when you add another cable, it doesn't connect. Ta-da! That is what we want. Because... How did you get there? No. Good catch. Um, if you want it to be a little bit more compact, like I do, you're going to end up with 
It's like oh, everybody's connecting. Okay, fine. Also, we're not going to have enough of these, but I want to pick up all of these uh, and root it. Well, I guess I could root that over to there. And then pick up a lot of those, right? So if I collect all of these, and I can fill in this wall. Oh! <laughs> whoops. <laughs> um, extra whoops. Got power in you. In case. Do. Nope, you're making obsidian. Thank you. And you weren't there, were you? Here, weren't you? That explains why. Yeah, it wouldn't. What are you talking? Okay, go. Why are you not filling up with water? You... What a mess. What a heckin' mess. What a flippin' heckin' mess. How did you do that? Why... How... Are you down there? You couldn't have been down. Where were you? <laughs> what the heck? You've got water coming in from above, but I didn't... Are you down there? No, because you've got lava coming in from below and water coming in from above. Just fix it. There we go. But, uh, right, obsidian is being recreated. We should probably hook this up as well and import some stuff into it, which is interesting because I've got a cable here to do exactly that. So let's put, put you back for me. I might want to import bus that stuff, but I do want the rest of this back. Oh, what a palaver. Can't do anything right, can you? Please, okay. mm -hmm. where are you all? <laughs> My uppy downy is really, really confusing. I want to go at this level. There we go. That don't need that. But also fill this in. Ta da! Tidy. This now has. One channel saved, which is not that many in the grand scheme of things, but if you think about what we're trying to do, uh, we are trying to avoid um, flooding that channel for the stuff down there. So I'm basically having one side per area of the base, which in the long run is going to be really, really useful. The other thing you could do to stop these things joining together is to change the color of them. Um, as you may have noticed, you can color in the different flavors of you can make different if you cover the cable you could color it in uh, that's what happens when you made wool i thought that the wool that i used would have accidentally made a purple cable but luckily it didn't i'm a fan of really that's, that's the way you want to play it huh do this we can probably um keep this walkway and sort of expand That way, I guess. So that, that is going somewhere. Or just burrow into that wall. Why not? Yeah, come on. And then let's just do this. And then we might as well finish this while we're here. Because we can. Ta da! And there you go. A walkway with a. I do like being able to see all these cables. I mean, you might disagree and you'd be wrong. Um, I feel like it's just that much more. It's industrial, you know? That's why we're here. We're making stuff happen. Right, so this should be back online. We replace this with... Nope, that. Yes. We replace this with this. You can now see that we're probably still using one channel. Ding. Ding. It does say one of eight channels, but it's kind of not really helping. Being on a corner like this is no use. So let's replace this one with it instead. Put this back. So that is much solid. Uh, you can see that it. Dunk, there we go. One one channel. Perfect. Uh, I was thinking of using the induction smelter at some point, but actually I don't really care to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this red lead stone down here. Not red stone. We're going to put the metallurgic infuser here. And this is what we were doing all this for in the first place. Um, this is going to contain redstone. 
So what we want to do, we want to put this on top of here like this and say if we put osmium in here, then we get a basic control circuit out. Uh, will this eject? Side config, yes. Eject on auto eject. Uh, output. Energy infuse on. Don't know if that will let me input and output from the same side. I'm hoping so. Don't know. We'll have to find out. Um, the other thing we want to do is make sure it's got a constant supply of redstone, which is not something we can do right now. So what we're actually going to do is not that, and just go and get some redstone and put it in there. Uh, in future, the way to do that is to have an export bus, which is basically constantly exporting it. Uh, redstone, please. But I don't really want to... Sounds hard right now. Um, those, those buses obviously are going to require those annihilation cores and things like that so we'll just bung a stack of redstone in here and watch it go dum -ti -dum, and then should be able to request uh basic oh i didn't hook it up oh pillock we have to actually put the cable into the thing so what we're going to see from this is whether doing this uh we've got two of these left as well have to come back with some more cables unfortunately um what we're going to see is whether attaching this to here <clears throat> is going to allow both input and output from the top side the nice thing about mechanism is that that might not be the case and when i say the nice thing being sarcastic it's not that much fun at all um so yeah i'm going to go off camera and craft some more of these cables and i'm going to come back in a minute and uh, having having tried this so uh, yeah, that's good. I'll be back in a minute. All right, moment of truth. Two, please. Begin. Uh, it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's not working. So, uh, didn't work. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. It's probably not going to let me. What is that noise? That's the actual thing happening, is it? Yeah, they're stuck in there. Um, that's noisy. Doesn't make me happy. One of the upgrades you can have is a shut the heck up upgrade. So that's going to be nice. Um, like you can't just you can't just be nice, can you? <laughs> if I do that, then you go away. So, if I request one now, we're going to want two more because we're going to want a couple of these um, things anyway. So let's. We're not making any noise now because it's not going in there because this isn't allowed to. So. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't do it. Um, what is this, by the way? I don't know. We'll have a look at that to see if that helps anything. But yeah, this gives us very noisily step step off. It gives it very noisily creates those things for us. But oh, there's no way of getting it in. We basically need two interfaces to do that. Or Or, if you're outputting from the side, surely you will output into here. Maybe. I didn't pick those up, did I? I've still got two. So that might work, but that's horrible. <laughs> that's really horrible. I don't like it very much. Another thing we can do is put more of these um, terminals all over the place. We did get two. Uh, like at the expense of having one channel used in each space, we can put an interface that allows us to access things in each room. Uh, and again, remember, there's another thing we can do which will allow us to connect these things together. Uh, being a little bit more efficient with channels, but at the cost that at the other end, 
there's a cost associated with it. Plus, we need basically need the dense cable. Dense. Uh, I mean, mark this one, which is dense covered cable. Is only four covered cables actually. We could probably make one. Can we just do that. No, of course we can't. Of course we can't. Um, that sort of thing. We need to, we need some more of those. We need some more wool. We need some more everything. Automation is going to be part of the next episode after I've gone mining a whole bunch. Because what we really needed to do that was to make the energetic the enrichment chamber. This is a thing we need. Hello, what's this? Steel casing. Do I not have one of those? Yes. That in there. Thank you for the enrichment chamber. This particular device is going to help us with a lot of our woes because what we're going to want to do point is um, plug all of our rubbishy bad stuff into here. And what we can do is we can turn this from a chamber into a factory with an upgrade. Uh, mechanism upgrade. Um, speed upgrade. Not an upgrade, is it? It's a conversion kit. I can't remember. <laughs> There's a way of turning it into the next tier of, here we go, a basic tier installer. So this is actually doable right now. So I'll show you what it does. Basic tier installer is basic installer. I'm using the other mouse, which you are familiar with me not normally using. Uh, I'm not using the ball mouse on my thumb, so, uh, because, <laughs> funnily enough, the thing that's usually... Things keep spawning in a manner that is hurting them. I don't know how. As you will. Uh, stop making so much noise, please. Uh, anyway. I'm not quite as good as this mouse with this mouse as that mouse, even though that mouse is not something I've been using for you know 30 years. This will take multiple things, and I'm going to put auto sort on. Uh, this way, when we export things into it, it will do three at once, and it will balance them out, which is pretty much all I really needed there. So this particular thingy here is going to turn our um, ore into basically dust. So essentially, it's the same as putting something in here, which is what we have been doing, uh, and then letting it go into here in order to cook. We could do that, um, and honestly, we have that method of doing it, and the Tinker's method of doing it, and now this method of doing it. The reason we started on this particular method is that it is much more upgradable. We can do more than three at once, and there are more machines that we can add to the chain to get more than, uh, more than, more than, more than two things per ore, and... There's upgrades we can do and things like that. So this has more scope, whereas these ones are available right now, which is okay. So the other thing we're going to want to do then, start exporting stuff. Now the question is, how would you like to do that? That's a good question, because in order to export stuff into that, we need a way of, can I auto import? I'll find out in a minute. Um, we need, essentially I want to take this. Did it still have iron in it? Where did my iron go? Oh, we cooked it. I remember, I remember. We already used it because we needed it. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty more iron available. Um, We don't need that. We might need that. We want this because we're going to make a export bus. Uh, this is probably going to be our import, actually, the way it comes back into the system when it's finished. So the ME export bus is... I keep doing it in the wrong place, so it deletes that. Export bus. Uh, this is a thing we can do. Nope. Well, we can, but we have to. The only, the only thing about this is you can't ask the thingy for something in JEI. You have to put the logic. Let's, uh, let's just start that cooking while we have a look at the other stuff. So we want an export bus. And the export bus is going to be a piston, which we can make. The only trouble now is that, um, well, we'll see in a minute when we get around to this. Finish. Well, one of the troubles is how long this takes to craft. 
Luckily, we had a couple of these. We should have just used them. Um, we'd like to speed those stuff, those things up downstairs. That's definitely an issue. Uh, cause come on, <laughs> where's my stuff? Crafting one. Yep. Um, put this here. The other thing that we're gonna need to export first deal with is the problem that we have with this, which I will show you when we get downstairs. Uh, the reason I've taken this crate, in fact, I should get that servo back. Do we have a reinforced servo? Where did that go? Yes. I'd rather have a reinforced one because it's that much quicker. Um, we're going to want to be able to export every type of ore. So the first thing I'm doing here is basically having a holding pen for the ores that we're going to be actually uh, processing like this. So this is going to contain all the ores. The export bus is going to be exporting the ores into the thing, but as you can see, we only do one at a time. The other thing we need is for the ores to be in the system in order for it to be coming out of the system again. This is another thing that we do not have. So let's get an ore and prove the concept before we get excited and start you know, expanding it too. So we'll take... Well, iron's going to be a common one, so let's take that. Oh, that's the, that's the uh, animals I can hear. I thought I could do that, by the way. I forgot I put so many elevators in everywhere. If we export iron that's it <laughs> there's now no room for anything else in this export bus there are a lot more ores than iron and there are a lot more ores than the five that we can obviously put here because one of the sides is taken up by that so we need a way of expanding the capacity of this which is an option we can use the capacity card here the capacity card is a pure any search of quartz crystal on the basic card which if you remember it's going to be a got it's going to be a, a oh it's only a search actually i thought that was, i thought that card was a diamond but it's just gold and assertus we can make that let's make a recipe for that the other thing we're going to need a way of doing is getting more and more of this certus stuff and i am going to go mining off camera at some point um, just not right now. And the reason that we want to... Uh, I don't want to keep going mining all the time, basically. Uh, Cal, you craft this and take as long as you like. Ah, pure Certus. Pure Certus. So the pure Certus is when you create the seeds, right? The seed is this. There's, there's other things we can do about this. Like, for example, p crafting these pure surtices. Oh, there's some in here. Perfect. Uh, why don't you have an import bus? <laughs> make an import bus. Import bus. Can we just make one? Yes, if we do that. Excuse me. That. 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 I don't know... <laughs> Are you going to be a pest? Probably. Inconclusive, <laughs> but I'm happy. Uh, we may be able to get away with that. I, I don't know if it was pulling out the Surtur seeds because it, it finished, you know? It might not have been a problem, but it may have been a problem. So we're making a basic uh, we're making this, which is going to be... Right, we needed a calculation processor. These next... You can make it. Hooray! Now, remember, we can only make one thing at a time at the moment because we only have one crafting CPU. There's so many things that we're going to have to add to this network that it, obviously it seemed like it was going to be pretty good fun and easy because we've got all this stuff. Um, yeah, it's starting to get to the point where we're realizing how this mod balances itself, which is to make you think about... At some point, we're going to run out of energy as well, but this makes you think about the channels that you've got available. We've only got six sides to that um, to the thingy. We can make more ME controllers for sure, and actually, we might end up doing that. 
Um, but in this case, that is not where we're going with it. What we're going to end up doing is trying to figure out how to compress our use of all these items. So we were making a capacity card. This one, please. I think we need two. So I'm glad that I got this for that. Because we go down here now. This capacity card can go in here. Two of the, one of them lets you use those four. Two of them lets you use eight. Export the first item until the network is empty. Then try the next ones. Export using round robin mode. Export items in random mode. So this is um, basically a priority list, right? So you put that in there as the first priority. And then if there's no iron, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. This is fine. So what we should be able to do is put the iron in the system, which this counts as. And this is going to start going away. Ta-da! Oh, how slow. There's the other problem. We're going to want a speed upgrade card. <laughs> right? Speed card. Um... A E F card. Uh, acceleration card. Uh, it's not too difficult. We just need another. Oh, it's the advanced card that was expensive. I remember. We want another basic card. It's going to be another couple of calculation processes. So I'll set this going. Um, I'm going to call the episode there whilst these cook. Off camera, I'm going to go mining to try and get as many resources as I can so that we can continue this before we get to the point where we can automate all the other stuff. In probably the next episode, then, I'm going to try and look at automating the greenhouse. But there's only so much we can do with the greenhouse. Um, because I really want this to work well. But to do that, remember how much effort it was just to make those seeds? I'm going to prepare myself for making the next set of seeds. And we're going to try and use the AE system to help us, which is why I wanted to get to this point in the first place. Start harvesting those ender pearls, and I might actually want to put that over there to assist uh, and that's pretty much all i got for you today so this has been a, a good foray i believe into the i don't even have a piece of endstone in there uh, a good foray into ae and we're going to be expanding that system a lot which is grand because i really like the way it works um and we're probably going to spend a lot of time over here unless we put one of these in different places. I am looking forward to being able to not worry about the number of channels that we're using as well. Um, but remember, we only really need to concern ourselves with that when this has got all six sides completely at capacity um, and we've started running out of power instead. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're learning. I hope you're inspired to play Minecraft because everyone should be. These mods are made by awesome people and they're all completely free. So until next time, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you.